Hey everybody, <laughs> on this video thing, uh, once again. Hey, I just wanted to get ahead of this craziness about the pastor in Tampa being arrested. Uh, I've been messaged uh, by a few people, and, and some of it's been good. good. And um, also I see some posts, and I'm hearing all kinds of things, how uh, this is persecution, and, you know, they're arresting pastors for having church. And uh, I just wanted to put the biblical perspective on it and uh, just kind of nip it at the bud here and fill you guys in. So uh, let's just go right to Scripture. Right here in Romans, I'm going to read Romans chapter uh, 13. Let me just read this to you and uh, we'll go from there. It says, this is uh, the Apostle Paul writing. Now, Paul spent a lot of time in jail. So he's, he's kind of good with things. So it says, uh, yeah, chapter 13, I'll start in verse 1. It says, Every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from, except from God, and those which exist are established by God. It says, Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God, and they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. And it says, for rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to live or do you want to have no fear of authority? Then do what is good and you will have praise from the same. For it is a minister of God to you for good. Yeah, it says, but if you do what is evil, be afraid for it does not bear the sword for nothing. For it is a minister of God, an avenger, who brings wrath upon one who practices evil. Therefore, it is necessary to be in subjection not only because of wrath, but also for conscience' sake. So, you know, before we get too crazy about it, uh, the pastor was not arrested because it was church. He was arrested because he had a public gathering... Uh, that exceeded the the law at the time. See, we it's not that they're saying no churches can meet. You there's no baseball, there's no golf, football, there's nothing. So he wasn't arrested for the sake of Jesus, which brings me to this scripture, um, Matthew ten twenty two and John fifteen twenty one. Jesus talks about if you are persecuted for my sake. See, that pastor wasn't, is not being persecuted because Jesus, he's being persecuted because he broke a law that's in place and putting others in danger, okay? It is not our right, even as Christians, to go out and break laws uh, that are set in place, especially during this time where uh, people's lives are in danger, We've only seen the beginning of that. If someone dies, now that they've arrested him, if someone from that church dies because of the COVID-19 and they can track it to that meeting, essentially he could be charged with involuntary manslaughter because he brought those people together. See, we're not looking at the big picture. We're once again being inwardly selfish and worrying about ourselves, saying this is a right they're taking from us. Listen, we're supposed to stay in our houses. All rights are taken from us. If your business is closed down uh, because you're forced to close down, then your right to own a business is closed down. But it's the right thing to do because we need to stop the spread of this virus. First Peter, I'll go to First Peter because I can tell, I could see through the phone you guys are already him hauling around and getting frustrated. Actually, John 15, um, he talks about this first. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, because I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world will hate you. And then he says, remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept, if they keep my word, they will keep your word also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know the one who sent me. See, that does not apply. That scripture, the reason I have that in here, is because breaking the law with attendance has nothing to do with that. So don't use that scripture to say that we're being persecuted. It's not blessed is he 
who breaks the law and is persecuted, and, and which brings me to First Peter. First Peter, uh, chapter two, verse twenty. Uh, ba -ba 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 it says, uh, actually, let me start at 19. It says, For this finds favor, if for the sake of, of conscience towards God, a person bears up under sorrows when suffering unjustly. For what credit is there if, when you sin and are harshly treated, you endure it with patient, patience? But if, when you do what is right and suffer for it, patiently endure it, this finds favor with God. See, when we break the law and we suffer, and see, this the law isn't that you can't talk about Jesus. That guy could have had an online service just as well. He could have went there by himself on video and probably maybe doubled the attendance if he did that. It's not because of church or Christian or the word of God that he is being arrested. It's because he broke the law, uh, breaking a mandated uh, meeting, um, a, a meeting limit you can't meet in public to put people I'm, I'm repeating this for a purpose I want you to get this because we will again look stupid if we're all out there saying oh, we're going to jail because we're Christians because that's not simply the truth right now will it happen I'm sure it will it's coming not just not because of this COVID-19 um, but the Bible says that persecution will grow great uh, here in Right outside of here, over in New Jersey, they recently arrested 40 people for having a party. And the person who threw it had even more charges thrown at him. And simply because they met together, it was 40 people that met together, they broke the law, the police went and they've arrested them because they broke the law. It had nothing to do with Jesus. Actually, I think it was some yahoos drinking and, and just celebrating uh, the coronavirus. It was a corona party or something. So are they being persecuted for drinking beer? No, of course not. They broke the same law that this pastor did. So before you jump on the they're persecuting us train, uh, I would like you to consider those scriptures. Again, go to Romans chapter 13, uh, verses 1 through 5, Matthew 10, 22, John 15, 21, 1 Peter 2, 20, and actually go to 1 Peter 3, 17. It says, better to suffer for doing good than to suffer for doing evil. And there's more to that scripture. See, when we break the law, as Romans 13 says, we are doing evil. The law has nothing to do with being a Christian. It has to do with meeting in large groups. So guys, hey, obey the law because it says if we rebel against the authorities, we're rebelling against God. And that's the last thing we want to do. So with that being said, that's the biblical take on this. Uh, take it for what it's worth, but that is not persecution, and please don't uh, make it into that. All right, guys, thanks again. Be blessed.